Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Your will be done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. The reason why success is valuable is because not everybody will ever get it. Are you listening to me? Greatness lies in the hands of those who have endured what others cannot endure. While you are praying, some people are in the beer parlor. Let me tell you something. We know about the mercy of God, but I want to tell you God is also just. Hallelujah. It is the justice of God that takes sinners to hell. The Bible says, do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. That means if you don't reap what you are sowing, God is being mocked. Are you listening to me? God cannot be mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, that man will receive it. He said, he that soweth to the flesh will of the flesh reap corruption. But he that sows to the spirit will of the spirit reap life eternal. You can choose today to pay the price and so seeds that will the bible says and abraham was old genesis 24 and stricken in age and god had blessed him in all things our parents left curses for us many of us are victims of the carelessness of the generations that have gone ahead of us but you must take responsibility about your life otherwise things will not change this is why God brought you here tonight as an indication of your desire to partner with the Holy Spirit in transforming your destiny and let me tell you something the kingdom of God operates in a reward system you will not seek God and later run back and seek other things as you seek him they will follow you God will be unjust if you have to seek him first and then run back to catch up in bringing other things. Uh -uh. As you seek him, those things that men follow will come to you. So open your eyes. Will you open your ears? Then you understand that the Lord is here. This is what God is asking you to do tonight. Open your eyes, open your ears, and you understand that the Lord is here. Hallelujah. Bless you. Greet one another. Tell them, lectures continue. Hallelujah. Bless you. Be seated. If you don't have a seat, stand.
or sit on the floor. Hallelujah. When it was time for the people to eat bread, Jesus said, tell them to sit down. If you can't sit down, you won't eat that bread. That bread is not just for people. You must sit down. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. What wisdom is this? Tonight I'm going to be sharing with us on a dimension of wisdom that I believe will fire somebody's spirit. We've been considering the subject of success. Let me tell you something. It's my desire that the least person among us will be like David. Hallelujah. You know, as I look at everyone here, I'm just imagining, I'm just imagining. If God will open your eyes to see how your five years will be like, how your ten years, some of you are escaping some things forever. Satan notwithstanding. Look, it plays to listen to the Lord. Are you hearing me? He said, Martha, you are distracted and offended by many things. But he said one thing. Everybody say one thing. One thing, one thing is needful. That you sit down at the master's feet. He said, this Mary has desired and this she has found. There is a master key in life. When you find it, you have found it. Hallelujah. What wisdom is this? I want to reveal to us, building from last week's message. Please, if you've not listened to last week's message, get it. Get it is very important. Hallelujah. Give me this mountain. We've been receiving testimonies. A very thought-provoking message that opens you up to the spiritual dimension of success. That lets you know that nothing just happens in this earth realm. There are those who are called the elites in this earth realm. Those who know. There are those who are the victims of the consequences and the decisions of the elite. Hallelujah. And tonight I trust that the word of God will provoke you. Make sure you write. Please if you are here without a writing material, beg your neighbor. And he told John, he said, write. Although he was in heaven, he said, write it. For these words are faithful and true. Write it. Hmm. A dimension of success that is bigger than science. Bigger than philosophy. Bigger than common sense. I want to show you a, a not a mystery, but... I trust the Lord to equip us tonight with a higher dimension of the operation of the Spirit. See, I want you to be so full of knowledge and truth that your life, it will be programmed automatically to be successful. You can't undo it again, even if you want to do it. Hallelujah. In chemistry, there are some reactions that are called irreversible reactions. Once they happen, they have happened. This is what is happening to your life. There is an irreversible spiritual reaction. Hallelujah. You will become something. And then when you become it, those who are running helter skelter will say, but this is what we've always wanted to become. And God will say, go and join the king. Bishop talked of a 75 year old man who was in primary four. There are some classes in life you don't jump. Hallelujah. God designed it such that when you finish every class, a batch is given to you. So you can know who cheated. You can do expo in the university, but not in life. At the end of it, life will count your level and count the badge and say, oh God, you jump this, 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 go back. Many people will go back. The Bible says, it's the thief that follows through the window. Is that in your Bible? Hustling can help you jump through the window. Is that true? But life will bring you back. I tell you. 
may it not happen when you have children because they will go back too with you and as you are moving they will be saying daddy why Lamentations 327 it is good that a man bear his yoke in his youth it is good that a man bear his yoke the bible says the glory of the young man is his strength now that you are young you can pray now that you are young you can press said i must walk the works of him that sent me while it is day for the night cometh when no man can walk again he said in the days of samuel when the word of the lord was cast may you be the light when darkness comes upon men and that light will make kings to come to your rising gentiles and kings to the brightness of your rising like sheba they will come with their goods to reward your sacrifices of today and sheba heard of the wisdom of solomon it was so notable she had to sail by sea and come to test him the entire kings of the earth came together solomon is the biblical portrait of wisdom i pray that this dimension of wisdom will fall upon somebody this night hallelujah thank you jesus let's write a few things what does it mean to be successful in the kingdom it's important that we understand the biblical concept of success I want to define success by God's standards because there are many standards that have been presented to many people including believers and many of us have received wrong perspectives of what we call success but we trust God for grace to reorder a lot of things say after me I received this dimension of wisdom say one more time I received this dimension of wisdom grant us this wisdom oh God grant us this wisdom I'll give you two definitions the definition of success in the kingdom number one it means to grow in the knowledge of God and in conformity to his nature and principles the first parameter to gauge and define success in the kingdom is not a car not a house not jeep wrong parameters in Jeremiah 9 23 he says that let the wise man not glory in his wisdom let the strong man not glory in his strength hallelujah he said but let him that glory and glory in this that he knoweth and understandeth me the knowledge of God to the degree to which you know God and you have allowed your life to conform to his nature and his principles you are considered to be successful from the perspective of the kingdom so number one growing in the knowledge of God the Bible says grow in grace and in the knowledge of God grow in grace and in the knowledge of God Paul was speaking to the church he said my little children in whom I travail until Christ be formed in you until the nature the character the formation of Christ so that you become a visible manifestation just like Jesus the Bible says in him dwelleth the fullness of the Godhead bodily in other words he was the physical expression of whatever you think God is hallelujah number two it means to experience the blessings of God in every area of life 
It's not enough to know God. It means to experience. Look at me. The Bible says creation is waiting for the manifestation, not the explanation of the sons of God. There are many people who can explain success, but there are very few people who will ever experience it in this life. The world is not waiting for explanations. They are waiting for the manifestation. Hallelujah. So success in the kingdom means to experience the blessings of God. In how many areas? Success is not just about money and finance. No. Your health. Your family. Your relationships. It means to experience the blessing of God. Everybody say the blessing of God. In your career, in ministry, in whatever area of your life. That your life will be an example. A portrait. There are certain people in scripture that represented the portrait of certain things. The biblical portrait of a blessed man is Abraham. The biblical portrait of wisdom is Solomon. The biblical portrait of the prophetic is Elijah. The biblical portrait of the law is Moses. Hallelujah. The biblical portrait of love is John. The biblical portrait of faith is Peter. And so on and so forth. May you be a portrait that represents something to the body of Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number three. Kingdom definition of success. We're talking about wisdom. So I want to get it straight with us so that we know what we are not talking about tonight. Number three. It means to accomplish your life goals and your God-given assignment. Success in the kingdom means you accomplish your life goals you accomplish your god-given assignment he said my meat in other words this is what gives me satisfaction to do and to finish the will of him that has sent me he said lo i come in the volume of the book as it is written of me to do thy will jeremiah chapter one he said before i formed you i knew you i called you i ordained you to be a prophet it means to accomplish your goals in life to do and finish your god-given assignment one more number four it means to be a blessing to mankind success according to the kingdom definition means to be a blessing to mankind both believers and unbelievers the bible says he gives rain both to the godly and ungodly when your life becomes a reference point both to believers and unbelievers you are successful he said let your light so shine before men not christians before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father in heaven the bible says we are his workmanship created in christ jesus that we may do that which we have been for ordained for hallelujah are you blessed write this word down exploits this is our year of supernatural exploits by the grace of god exploits it means unusual uncommon extraordinary accomplishment unusual uncommon extraordinary accomplishment Hallelujah. 
Sheta bakora bakata pratishi balanaba. Let me give you the definition of wisdom. You're ready? Number one, this is the general definition of wisdom as we know. That wisdom is the accurate application of knowledge. This is the general definition of wisdom. Wisdom is the accurate application of knowledge. When knowledge is applied or information is applied accurately, we call that wisdom. Are you there? Accurate application of knowledge. But you see, the wisdom I'm talking about tonight is not just the one that fits this definition. It's a higher realm. Mark 6. Mark 6. Let's examine this kind, this type and this dimension. Mark 6. Say after me, I received this wisdom. Are you there? Mark 6 verse 1. Let's hurry up. And he went out from there and came into his own country and his disciples followed him. Verse 2. And when the Sabbath day was come, he began to teach in the synagogue. He said, and many hearing him were what? astonished saying from where had this man these things he said and what wisdom is this which is given unto him and through that wisdom what happens he said that even such mighty works i'm talking about the kind of wisdom that will grant you access to command exploits beyond the realm of this earth this is not the kind of wisdom you find around the bible says jesus walked in that level of wisdom and when he began to talk they asked him they said from where where is this man coming from and what wisdom is this everybody say what wisdom is this so let's define the dimension of wisdom we are talking about is wisdom is the supernatural ability the supernatural ability to use the inspired and the written word of god to solve life's problems and make accurate decisions the supernatural ability to use the word of god both written and inspired to solve the problems of life and to make accurate decisions this is the dimension of wisdom that the ancients used in the bible and they commanded exploits the ability to use the word of god and all the inspirations that come from the holy spirit to give it applicable value here in the earth realm and command results with it hallelujah praise the lord let's examine a few kinds of wisdom that we have james 3 i want to take this carefully tonight because i want everybody to understand this i want us to get it the bible took time to talk about this dimension of wisdom in the book of proverbs wisdom even cries wondering why people are not interested in her pursuit and it says wisdom is the principal thing let's look at james 3 we read from verse 13 to 17 but the verse of emphasis is verse 15 from verse 13 it says who is a wise man and endued with knowledge among you? 
Let him show out of a good life his works with meekness and wisdom. Verse 14. But if he have bitter envies and strife in your heart, that means there are some levels of wisdom that only produce this. Glory not and lie not against the truth. Verse 15. Are you ready? It says, This wisdom descended not from above. So we see the first kind of wisdom. This is the one we are talking about. The wisdom that comes from above. Hallelujah. The apostle is contracting, is, is contrasting a wisdom that comes from above with other kinds of wisdom. Number one, the wisdom that comes from above. This one is given by God alone. You don't read for it. You can't search it out. Let's continue. Number two, he said, but it's earthly. So we have earthly wisdom, human wisdom, what we call common sense. The ability to know that if you touch fire, it will burn you. The ability to know that you cannot sit down on water ordinarily. Earthly wisdom, Sophia. Hallelujah. Number three, sensual wisdom. This is the wisdom that you get through study, scientific wisdom, philosophical wisdom. Hmm. Wisdom that comes through studies. Hallelujah. That's the kind of wisdom that makes all of the things that we have that help us relate with our environment. And then the fourth kind of wisdom. The Bible calls it devilish or demonical wisdom. This is the wisdom that is gotten from the underworld. This is the wisdom that you get by your alliance and your allegiance with Satan. This is the wisdom that was used to build Egypt. A type of Babylon. It was the wisdom that Pharaoh and the Egyptians used. And they accomplished supernatural, extraordinary things. But hear what the Bible says. Verse 17. This is the wisdom we are considering tonight. He said, but the wisdom that is from above. Come on now. Where is it from? It's not from the earth realm. I will show you that you cannot find it. It does not have a physical location in the earth realm. It's first pure. Peaceable, gentle, and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality, without hypocrisy. This is the wisdom we are talking about. This dimension of wisdom that cannot be gotten in this earth realm. Wisdom from above. Above and beyond anything that you know. Everybody say I receive that wisdom. Hallelujah. There is this dimension of wisdom. And there are men and women who are walking in this level of wisdom today. Solomon in scripture. The Bible says that Solomon had an interaction with God and he was given this wisdom. And the reign of Israel during the dispensation of Solomon, as theologians tell us, is the closest to the biblical portrait of what the millennial reign looks like. There was no war. Hallelujah. Solomon became king and he brought rest and abundance to the nation of Israel. No war during his time. There was peace and tranquility by this wisdom. And tonight I pray that we will find it. We will find it. So that you and some of your family members will rest forever. I pray for you that you will find it. There are some things that when you find they become life. They exempt you forever. Hallelujah. Job 28. 
how do we access this wisdom this supernatural ability that is not just found lying around this wisdom that defies scientific wisdom wisdom that is bigger than studies wisdom that is bigger than age age does not give this kind of wisdom this is the wisdom that when they gathered around with job many people were speaking out of different wisdom earthly wisdom sensual wisdom and Eli who said uh-uh he said I was young and you people were old so I thought to keep quiet he said I thought that experience should teach wisdom but there is a spirit in man any kind of man hallelujah Solomon was a very young boy when he began to lead the nation of Israel 12 years of age but he became a king with this mighty wisdom and he ruled for 40 years 12 years how old are you those who celebrated their birthdays how old are you but a 12 year old boy confused and perplexed you see why he asked God for wisdom what will you expect a 12 year old boy to ask wife husband said oh lord i'm but a small boy and god said don't worry there is a kind of wisdom that when it comes upon you you will produce exploits for 40 years hallelujah job 28 for the way of the lord is the way of wisdom I choose the way of the Lord For the way of the Lord Is the way of wisdom I choose the way of the Lord It's a long reading, let me read This is Job The Bible calls Job the richest blessed blessed man in the east he was a great man when the elders saw him they stood up the young men saw him and they bowed their face they could not look at him what dimension of wisdom brought him to that level of success read with me 28 surely there is a vein for silver that means where silver is mine has been found by men is that true And a place for gold where they refine it iron is taken out of the earth and bronze is smelted out of stone he set it an end to darkness and searched out all perfection the stones of darkness and the shadows of death listen verse 6 he said the stones of it are the place of sapphires and it had the dust of gold it's trying to tell you what the wisdom the philosophical wisdom of men have been able to accomplish he said through that wisdom they have even been able to find where gold and silver is hidden they can come here and not need to dig down to the earth to tell you whether there is gold or silver that's a measure of wisdom hallelujah but verse 7 says there is a part which no fowl knoweth birds fly in the air they see things that men cannot see but he said there is a path that even the eyes of the bird cannot reach no matter what plane it stands to search it out it cannot see it he said and the falcon's eye has not seen it the lion's whelps the lion that does not fear any animal it is not restricted but he said even the lion has not been able to discern that place he put forth his hand upon a rock and overturned the mountain by its roots. He cut out rivers among the rock and his eyes see every precious thing. He binded the floods from overflowing and the thing that is hidden bringeth forth it to light. Verse 12, are you there? Here's the question. But where shall wisdom be found? And where is the place of understanding? This is a question. With all the excavations that happen, there are cranes today 
that built all kinds of towers in the earth man has been able to stretch and explore wisdom there are houses that have been built inside the sea there are bridges that they built across seas but the bible says where is this very wisdom that with all the advancement of science men have not found it let's fast for the location of this wisdom 13 he said man knoweth not its price neither is it found where in the land of the living in other words it is not in this earth realm you cannot find it here no matter how intelligent you are this is the wisdom that is above and beyond this earth realm the depth where is the depth the deep places the places of the occult the places where they do all kinds of things that even the occultic realm has this to say it is not with me and the sea said it is not with me that's why even wealthy people in the earth realm have not been able to find this wisdom and the recession that is coming will prove it that although the, the sea represents the abundance of people because the bible says, i will give you the abundance of the sea he said even the sea those who have worked in abundance who claim they have found the wisdom all of the people that forbes magazine is listing the bible says they have not found it and time will show that what they had was not wisdom there was famine in samaria to an extent that people did not have any resource they finished eating animals they ate plants and grasses it was remaining only human beings and mother said let's start eating our children where were the philosophers and the, with the intelligent people there will be a replay of that yeah the bible says it in malachi 4 that the earth will burn with an oven and all those who do wickedly will be embarrassed let me tell you the truth if you do not access this wisdom whatever else you have are just shadows are you getting blessed tonight the bible says 15 it cannot be gotten for gold that means you don't buy this wisdom with money if you could buy it with money the wicked wealthy men including the illuminati they will buy everything and be the custodians of it but the bible says this one even gold cannot buy it you can't buy it it's not the personal possession of any man it cannot be weighed for silver it is not valued with the gold of offer and the precious onyx and the sapphire the gold and the crystal cannot equal it and the exchange of it is not for the jewels of gold no mention shall be made of coral or of pearl or the price of wisdom is above rubies it says the topaz of Ethiopia shall not equal it neither shall it be valued with pure gold 20 whence then cometh wisdom where is this wisdom that everything that men value today cannot buy it this is what Solomon saw and when he caught it every other thing that could not buy it followed him come on now I give you a master key the Bible says that wisdom is the principal thing listen to the Word of God when he speaks because they are life to those who find them many people will not listen this is the problem pastor it's not just the hearers there are some of you looking at me and you are saying is this thing really important it will be important when all else fail in your life my son the bible says pay attention to my words incline your ears to my sayings do not let them depart from your heart keep them in the midst of your heart they are life to those who find them i show you a way a way of escape out of the nonsense that many people live forever there are people perpetually forever there are some who have enslaved their generations forever one of it is america 17 trillion u.s dollars in debt increasing by an average of 12 billion dollars every day how many generations will pay it 
they are the ones we call the wise they are the ones who are trying to follow the bible says they can't buy this wisdom are you hearing me with all the wisdom of the military and the wisdom of governments they've not been able to stop war but a 12 year old boy came with this wisdom and for 40 years there was peace in the nation where is this wisdom my god i pray that somebody will get this wisdom solomon with this wisdom made silver like the dust silver like the dust if you find silver outside you are traveling to Kano first thing tomorrow morning to go and sell it first thing but the time came people saw it and they just left it my god i received that dimension of wisdom i receive it let's finish up seeing it is hidden from the eyes of all living and kept close from the fowls of the air abaddon the place of the dead and death say we have heard its fame with our ears god understands his way this is the secret he said with all this confusion that men are having god is saying i know where it is i know where it is because i kept it and i know the place of it where is this wisdom how can you access this wisdom with this wisdom daniel entered a strange land and he ruled through the dispensation of three different kings the same result the same result through the dispensation of three different kings hallelujah praise the lord this dimension of wisdom we're talking about accessing this wisdom now this dimension of wisdom only comes from god the first thing i want you to know about this wisdom in and in accessing it is that it is given everybody say it is given god gives men you don't study it you don't look for it it's a waste of time god gives men hallelujah when you meet his conditions he will give it to you god gives men ready let me write the conditions for you the conditions for accessing this dimension of wisdom number one you must have a passionate love for god and his agenda the bible says i has not seen nor ear heard neither has it come into the heart of man what god has prepared for them that love him not them that speak in tongues not them that attend koinonia eye has not seen ear has not heard what god has in store for who them that love him we are going to examine solomon's life very quickly before we pray because he's the biblical portrait let me teach you something every time you are searching out for something in life stop confusing yourself go back to the word and look for those who were biblical portraits of that thing you are looking for the bible says look to abraham your father and to sarah that bear thee he said i called him alone and i blessed him that means as far as god is concerned when you are talking about blessings and prosperity abraham is god's portrait of a blessed man not bill gates not warren buffett not carlos limas hilo not all of those great men thank god for them but he said look to abraham your father and to sarah that bear thee when it comes to wisdom it was given to solomon there are many people that operated that dimension of wisdom daniel different people but we are going to examine the life of solomon let's look at his life quickly conditions for 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 accessing that wisdom Number one, passionate love for God. First Kings chapter 3. I prayed my heart out and I said, Lord, let your people find wisdom. May they find wisdom. Many of you will thank God for these teachings years to come.
Are you there? First Kings 3. Let's examine the life of this biblical figure that was able to access this level of wisdom. The first thing the Bible has to say about Solomon in chapter 3 verse 3 is that and Solomon loved the Lord. Everybody say Solomon loved the Lord. And Solomon did what? The Bible didn't say and Solomon served the Lord. Solomon loved the Lord. See, let me tell you. Your love and passion for God is the number one thing he's searching for even beyond your service. There are many people who serve God, but they do not love God. They don't have that passionate love. They are only serving God because of formality or because of their environment. You are in a family where everybody is a Christian. So you have to go to church. You have to come for koinonia. He said, and Solomon did what? Love the Lord. That means every other thing that he did was because of that love. A man can serve God because of wife. I hope you know that. A man can serve God because of husband. A man can serve God because of the whiplash of employment. And you just find the nearest church and say, Ah, let me find refuge in this place. And rest before I find out what is going on. People can serve God for various reasons. For car, for house, for prosperity, for job. He said, but Solomon loved the Lord. Do you love the Lord? The first condition for accessing this wisdom. This is why the kings of the earth cannot get it. Because they do not love the Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. It's from the bottom of my heart. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. It's from the bottom of my heart. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. From the bottom of my heart. When you give God your heart, not your hands, not your tears, when you give God your heart, I'm giving you a big secret. Many Nigerians do not love God. Many pastors do not love God. They love ministry. They love suits. They want ministry advancement, but they do not love the Lord. Many leaders in this country do not love the Lord. Many young people hustlers who keep hustling forever they don't love the lord many fathers many mothers do not love the lord and we wonder why his blessings and his wisdom is far from us some of you here looking at me don't love the lord you love the house of god you love the people of god you love christian music but you don't love the lord and solomon loved the lord and Solomon loved the Lord. Can that be your testimony? That will say, ah, and Eben loved the Lord. And Paul Maman loved the Lord. Some of you, as you say, and you love the Lord, your spirit will tell you no way. You say, and you are now willing to love the Lord. Not that you love the Lord. I keep emphasizing this passion for God because if you are not rooted in love success will make you run away from God are you hearing me success will make you do what let me tell you if you enter real success it's a double-edged sword it can kill you are you hearing what I'm saying there are levels the, the problem is many people in nigeria are so poor and unsuccessful it cannot even cross their mind what true success looks like and solomon loved the lord that's the first condition number two you must have a sincere desire to be a blessing you want to access this wisdom you must have what a sincere desire to be a blessing same first kings 3 from verse 8 and 9 god gave solomon an open check he says solomon what do you want me to give you look up if solomon was a nigerian and god says solomon what do you want me to give you his first question will be is he only me 
will there be any other person with it say no only you he say ha. god you better carry paper and byron let me empty my whole life let me tell you what i want the first thing is any day anybody speaks against me let him die one two all the people that have called me a failure prove a point to them is that not true number three make those people serve me so that forever it will remind them let me tell you hear me if that is your desire i assure you it is not god's wisdom you will ever get in life you can get any other thing but you can't get god's wisdom that way the bible says indeed genesis 12 verse 2 shall all the families of the earth be blessed there are many people who who, who jump in church oh i'm a millionaire i tell them you can get it by by working for 50 years but i assure you if it is through the wisdom of god your heart must be ready to be a blessing otherwise you cannot access this wisdom do you know how many self-centered selfish people we have in this world some of you are saying me i'm not selfish how much have you held that you know whether you are selfish or not solomon had the opportunity to say lord me and my wife and all the people bless me hear what he said verse 8 he said and thy servant is in the midst of thy people 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 when you love god truly you will love people many pastors preach day and night to congregations they don't love they are just trying to use the congregations to show they are making progress in ministry i told god if you never bless me in this life if i never become successful in this life i may do many things but not loving you is not one of them he has my heart believe me i've crossed a bridge and burnt it that i'll never return again when you see god blessing certain people check their heart i had bishop oedeko shout this thing he said you want to know the secret of my blessing and the blessing of this ministry check my heart beat for god There are many of you if god says between 12 this night and one anything you pray anything you ask me i will give you i mean jesus appears to you the first thing is you wipe sleep from your eyes and stand and mention the name of all your loved ones and mention everything till five minutes to one you will sit down and say lord i'm still thinking okay i remember do this for me for me for me I trust God that in the years to come in Koinonia our testimony will not just be God gave me tea God gave me bread God gave me handkerchief but that God used me to do this for somebody else it is at that point we will clap right now we are clapping for God change me and we thank you for it God did this a millionaire is not one who has one million a millionaire is one who has become a blessing to people with up to one million Oh God, I want this. I want fame. I want power. Give me this church. Oh God, I'm tired of wearing suit that tailor sold. I want to wear the one that I'm buying. I'm, oh God, change my story. And God is saying for you, or for me, or for my kingdom. And God said, well, this, when we get to that bridge, have you heard people say that? He said, when we get there, we'll cross it. You better, God can see your heart. Everybody say, I love the Lord. And I desire to be a blessing. See, can I tell you, if you are looking for success for yourself, you don't need much effort. You know, but you know that. How many clothes can you wear? How many books can you write? But when your heart is set for the kingdom of God, then you are you are not ready for the avalanche of exploits that you will do. There are many people who want anointing some people come to me they just say oh man of god these are Buddha people again they come oh man of god my ministry we've not been experiencing the hand of god and I, I trust god for the oil on your life as if i'm selling it 
Say, man of God, I believe if you touch me, there will be an explosion. And I'm saying, look at this guy. From the way he's talking, from the way he's talking, this guy is going to yoke and kill the sheep. There are many people who want to go on air. Oh God, take me on air. God say you, for because of the way I love you, you won't cross this realm of ministry. When you see God not blessing some people, don't be too quick to beg on their behalf. Ask God why first. Some of our fathers have prayed. We have done Bible studies. We brought prophet, priest, king. We brought everybody to our houses. Change our story. Oh God, say amen. God said, no way. You are the one shouting amen there. I have seen your heart. Are you ready to be a blessing? I'm telling you a secret. It does not cause God to change your family or your situation. But can he have your heart? Are you ready to truly be a blessing? Can you sit down today and see a family come and they love God and you just look and the Lord say build a, build a three bedroom flat for them and don't announce it. Build it, put everything and come and tell them this was why God blessed me. You say if I do this to you, here's the condition. It must be on newspaper, it must be on CNN. All of you must come and kneel down and say thank you and I will give you the key in front of everybody. That way they will now know that I'm serving the Lord doesn't work that way how many of you are ready to be blessed how many of you know that if, if you are successful today you will give scholarships you will build orphanages you will build churches let me tell you the truth many of you are lying because you've never done anything with the 10,000 you have even your tight you have not been faithful you just saw 1,000 hey! 1,000 can buy palm oil you can buy salt Maggie wants here. Gary, if he's the half one, said it will reach. Number three. So, number one, a passion for God and His agenda. Number two, a sincere desire to be a blessing. Say, I'm a blessing. I'm a blessing. Say, I refuse to be a consumer. Say it. I refuse to be a consumer. I'm not that man praying for God to bless others. Have you had that kind of nonsense, satanic, anti God's agenda prayer? Where they say, May God bless you oh, as you bless. Please, our pocket is open. Drop it for us. What kind of cause is that? There are people in life who are waiting. That's, that's their prayer. Oh, God bless this guy. He has already gone far. Just finish with him for my sake. Because we hate paying the price say god please the way the way tokumbo is going now lord i thank you keep blessing him i say tk i'm praying for you i'm praying for you the prayer i would have done for myself i'm doing for you don't forget me no no you must desire to be a blessing because you see how can you pay so much price just to bless others does it look fair it's not it's not the attitude of natural men when you suffer alone what happens you chop alone that's what they've taught us in nigeria pastor <laughs> they can't die alone hallelujah that's the language of nigerians i suffered alone were you there when i was suffering say no so now it's my turn to chop i don't know you i don't know your name we have never met Say, Fatima, say, Fatima, me, I don't know you. I've never seen you. If your heart is not set to be a blessing, I am telling you, I'm not just talking of money. You will never really get anything. Hallelujah. A sincere desire to be a blessing. Number three, to access this wisdom, you need to operate the law of giving. First Kings 3 verse 4. That's what we see in the life of Solomon. Everybody say the law of giving. Any day I talk about the law of giving, don't be confused. Let me tell you straight to the point what I'm talking about. The law of giving is number one, your tithe. Whenever I talk of the law of giving, it's not some unambiguous thing. Number one, your tithe. Malachi chapter 3 from verse 20 to 12. Let me tell you something. 
I don't care any other giving you give. Even if you give one billion for any project, if your tithe does not precede your giving life, you only wasted your time. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Your tithe is your number one obligation in the law of giving. Please listen to me. I pray that God will make many of you see that this is not some scheme by men of God to collect money from you. Because if that is it, you, you will never be successful. This is not about money. It's about maintaining an open heavens. The Bible says, Bring ye all your tithe into my storehouse, that there may be meat in my house. And prove me now, here with saith the Lord, if I will not open the windows of heaven, and pour you out a blessing that you will not have room enough to receive. He said, and I will rebuke the devourer for your sake. He shall not destroy the fruit of your ground. Neither shall your vine cast its young. And he says, you will be a delight some land and you will be blessed. Seven prophetic blessings that follow a tithe. Many people think tithe is all about money. Tithe is about giving God first place in your life. Hallelujah. Oh, how much? It's just 5,000. Even God understands. Oh, my father gave his tithe for me. All these flimsy excuses will keep you a failure in life. Say, I receive grace to tithe. Be consistent. I have envelopes, envelopes in my house. Anything that comes in, I've told you this is the secret of the blessings of ENI. It's not a mystery. The finance department are on perpetual instruction. I don't care money for what is raised in this place. Before we touch one naira or one dollar or one pound, one whatever it is, the tithe is taken first. When we started the school of ministry, the same thing. The tithe, as I speak to you right now, the tithe for the collection of this night is already set. There were many trees in the Garden of Eden. But God kept the tithe and told man, don't touch it. Every time you take what God did not give you, he will return back with something. He will collect from something that he had given you. Say amen. Every time, some of you, you take the tithe. What happens? He will drive you out of the garden. Hallelujah. Could this be the reason why some of you may never go far in life? You take 10,000. You say, Lord, in my heart I've given you. But right now, let me just use this quickly. Let me just buy Panadol. I promise you. There's 120,000 coming on Wednesday. When it comes, I will add it. These are gimmicks by Satan to kill you. Some of you, you, you in your mind, you even have it in a pen. You're tied from March to now that you plan to give God. But you have not yet given. You say, God, you look at the heart. Number two, your kingdom investments. I'm talking of your offerings. I'm talking of your seeds that are sown in the house of God. If you have a business tight, you have a church tight, you have anything tight, tight, and you an open heavens. So your kingdom investments. And then giving to God's servants, prophet offerings, and giving to the needy. These are the things that constitute the law of giving. The Bible says in 1 Kings 3 verse 4, it says Solomon offered a thousand. Everyone say 1,000 bond offerings. Say 1,000. Look up. We are not up to 1,000 in this place. Do you know what it means to see a field as big as football field? And you just stand from somewhere and see them dragging animals 800 801 802 870 900 950 991 to 1000 and then they caught all of them you just see blood spilling around what waste what waste and god saw a man doing this while solomon got to the 900 one he said lord still for you he got to 991 he said lord for you and he killed the 1000 and god said no way 
God himself had to come down and say, Solomon, you have touched me. You have touched me. In What do you want? Come on now. There are some sacrifices that will compel the presence of God. Hallelujah. In my little life, I've had the opportunity to do some dangerous givings. I've told you, God does not love a cheerful giver alone. God also loves a crying giver. There is he that weepeth and bearing precious seeds. There is he that weepeth. There are some givings that you don't just give laughing. You will give and cry. You will give and call yourself a fool after the service. How be it? Your faithfulness will endure. Finally, under accessing this wisdom, ask of the Lord. 1 Kings 3 verse 9. Solomon asks of the Lord. Solomon asks of the Lord for an understanding heart. James 1 verse 5. The Bible says, Does any man lack wisdom? Let him ask of the Lord. Let him ask of the Lord. Tonight we are going to be asking. I told you this wisdom. See, this wisdom comes to you from God. It's an impartation. Solomon discusses with God in the night in a dream. The next day he wakes up and he starts judging with that wisdom. Immediately. Immediately. Daniel. Daniel. I'm going, we're going to consider that scripture quickly before we pray. Daniel. When the king had a dream, could not interpret it. He said, let's just rest. He rested that night. That wisdom worked. This is not the kind of wisdom that will happen over time. Uh -uh. When it comes on you, it speaks at once. Hallelujah. Finally, before we pray, let's consider the workings of this dimension of wisdom, the operation. How does it work? I've told you what it is. I've told you how to access it. Shiva Kaprata Kete Balada Bakasa. How does this wisdom work? Proverbs 18 verse 1. The first way is the sacrifice of meditation. This is how this, this is the first way this wisdom begins to find expression. What did I say? The sacrifice of meditation. Proverbs 18 verse 1. The Bible says true desire. A man having separated himself. Seek it. And intermeddled with all wisdom meditation meditation many of us do not understand the power of meditation when you set aside time and you sit alone and you begin to allow the Holy Spirit to find expression and then that wisdom begins to find expression meditation Daniel chapter 2 from verse 14 to 6 please let's look at it quickly I want to show you a very sound warning and impart wisdom for some of us Daniel 2 I cried for many years to the Lord I said Lord give me wisdom give me wisdom Daniel 2 from verse 14. Are you there? Say amen. Let's read it quickly. Verse 14. Then Daniel answered with counsel and wisdom to Arioch, the captain of the king's guard, who was gone for to slay the wise men of Babylon. They could not interpret the king's dream. Look at this wicked king. You had your dream and you forgot and you were angry. Just like many people in Nigeria, they blame people for their failed dreams. They wanted to be great, it didn't happen. And now they are angry at everybody. Listen, Daniel said this in verse 15. And he answered and said unto Ariok, the king's captain, Why is the decree so hasty from the king? Then Ariok made the thing known to Daniel. 16. Listen. He said, then Daniel went in and desired of the king that he should give him, that he should give him. This is what has killed a lot of people 
in our generation. We are in a rush for everything. That's why the spirit of wisdom, the touch of wisdom is not upon our lives. We are in a hurry to make money, a hurry to do everything, a hurry to get that job, a hurry to do everything in life. And so we don't consult with God, we don't pray, we don't have time to meditate, to allow the wisdom of God to edit our lives. The Bible says, many are the counsel that are in a man's heart, however. It says, many are the purposes in a man's heart. However, the counsel of the Lord, that shall stand. We never do anything as in, in a minister. Let me tell you something. Anybody that comes to meet you with anything in life, in a rush, run away quickly. Did you hear me? Run away quickly. Daniel said, uh-uh, king, you are rushing this thing too much. He said, give me time. If you give me time, I will meditate and the Lord will reveal to me and I will tell you. Let me show you another scripture. We'll soon get up and pray. Are you there? Zupa kataparia katabashambra dikata. Verse 19. He said, Then was the secret revealed unto Daniel in a night vision. When he, he had time and he went in the night meditating upon this thing. And during the night time, not the night moment, the night time, this thing was revealed to him. Every time you take time, see, there is nothing that should compel your excessive hurrying in life. Because your hurrying in life will produce casualties that when you get to that place, it will hurt you and those who have been walking slowly will come and pass you. You see somebody running and is running on 200 and somebody is running on 120. The next thing they are bringing the mirror out of the bush and the man is sitting on the blood on the ground with blood and somebody who was going on 120 will come and pass and say sorry what was the rush for especially for some of us who are men make sure you think through don't make stupid decisions no matter how much you think you know the answer there is a way that cement right onto a man but see great leaders are not men of hasty decisions they think through no matter what the urgency is learn this is a big secret in life Daniel said tell the king to give us time and this wisdom will work hallelujah the sacrifice of meditation everybody say I receive grace to meditate some of the things you see today are the things that we get by meditation this is how I get the messages for the week I spend time I pray and I just sit in his presence and allow this wisdom that cannot be found in the land of men when that wisdom comes you know accurately what it is that God wants you to do hallelujah number two this wisdom manifests when you begin to speak or make decisions is supernatural is supernatural it's not wisdom that is rehearsed all of you some of please look at me look at me let me show you that some of you have already been working in this thing how many of you have had someone come to counsel you i mean somebody come for you to counsel the person and you know that you are not married yet you are talking to couples about something there is no way you would have known you did rehearse it you did rehearse what to tell them this is that wisdom it's like you are prophesying somebody will ask you a question and you begin to speak you are talking and for hours at the end of it you wish you recorded your message because you know you can't find it again this is that dimension of wisdom are you listening to me somebody say I received that wisdom Luke 21 verse 15 if you can project it using the amplified version but let's just look at it. Luke 21 quickly. Somebody will access this wisdom tonight. In the name of Jesus. Somebody will access this wisdom tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Luke 21. 
verse 15 it said for i will give you a mouth and wisdom which your adversaries shall not be able to resist nor gain say listen listen this wisdom begins to manifest when you are speaking it's not something that you have that you say i have it again no the moment you open your mouth you will begin to utter things that are not of this realm hallelujah and so you go to your office and they are deliberating on a decision and many people are just bringing foolish theories that are not applicable and you keep quiet like Elihu suddenly you will open your mouth he said open your mouth and I will feel it he didn't say I'll open your mouth when I feel it open your mouth and I will feel it suddenly you begin to communicate wisdom and they look at you my father calls me a young man with gray hair ah there is a dimension of wisdom that when you speak people will look at you and say no this cannot be wisdom that is accumulated by experience this is an impartation of this dimension of wisdom i pray in the name of the lord jesus that from today as you open your mouth to speak you will speak that order and that operation of wisdom many of you have used your mouth to close the doors of your destiny because what came out was foolishness not wisdom or what came out was just scientific knowledge i pray for someone tonight i pray for someone tonight may god make that when you meet your destiny helper the right words that will be upon your lips that will compel men there are many people today moving around with business proposals and they know what books say they should say but the Bible says, I will give you a wisdom and a mouthpiece. Could this be what you need to tell your project supervisor for him to let you go with your work? Could this be that this is what you need to tell somebody to help you with capital for your business? Could it be that this is what you need to tell somebody to employ your loved ones? Let the opening of our lips utter wisdom that is beyond this realm so that you will be noted for that wisdom Matthew chapter 10 verse 19 to 20 we are running Matthew chapter 10 I feel the power of God in this place we are going to pray this this wisdom must hit somebody this night this wisdom must hit somebody this night someone must write it in your jota that on this day you encounter the dimension of wisdom that cannot be found in the land of the living verse 19 matthew 10 verse 19 but when they deliver you up that means when you are in trouble he said do not be anxious how or what you shall speak for it shall be given you in the same hour he says shall be given to you when that means when you stand even if you don't know what to say some of you when they invite you to preach you are shaking you are saying oh god what will i say hold on hold that mic now with that spirit of wisdom and you will be amazed at the utterances that will come out of your lips verse 20 he said for it is not you that speak but the spirit of your father that does what speaks in you so although you have seen a man what is really happening is the spirit of god speaking through a man that's why you wait the man and wait the wisdom that is coming and say what wisdom is this i pray that in years to come this will be the testimony that they will produce a documentary on some of you and name it what wisdom is this you will do things that defy the wisdom of men that the world will celebrate you for it solomon operated in this dimension of wisdom there were two women who came two harlots one slept on a child and by that wisdom he deciphered accurately and the bible says his fame was spread abroad 
there is a level of wisdom that will ripple across territories people will share it let me tell you something people have mouths that can talk they can as well talk about your wisdom and say when it comes to brother so and so no this is a this this guy operates in a class of wisdom that is not known to men doth not wisdom cry doth not wisdom cry look at how solomon cried with this thing in the book of proverbs solomon said wisdom is begging people wisdom stands on the street and see many people looking for success doth not wisdom cry wisdom was crying and said pay attention to me with me are riches wealth and honor yea durable riches but people will not listen the third way this wisdom manifests is through innovative and inspired ideas inspired thoughts job 32 verse 8 but there is a spirit in man and that spirit can bring inspiration everybody say inspiration that dimension of wisdom how did they build the tabernacle in the wilderness look at me they were in the wilderness there was no source of help but they got wisdom from god and they built the tabernacle in the wilderness brothers and sisters i can kneel down and beg you tonight do not trivialize the power of what i'm telling you there are some messages until you get to certain realms it may not be useful but when you get to that realms you can never be a leader without this you will waste your time there are many frustrated men of god who have power but don't have wisdom it takes wisdom it takes wisdom to be a leader it takes wisdom to be a father it doesn't take age it takes wisdom it takes wisdom to command prosperity it doesn't take years of time it takes this wisdom lastly dreams and visions daniel chapter 2 from verse 19 to 23 the bible says and the secret of the lord that secret was revealed to daniel in the vision of the night how many times have i laid down to sleep and in the visions of the night god opens things to me that cannot be found in this realm that's how some of these messages come see can i tell you something some of these great men like john muen and the rest the reason why some of their songs are timeless is because they came by this wisdom it is this wisdom that transported it there are others whose songs just came from musical acumen so it will change as time changes but there are others it comes with a spirit the wisdom of God comes from the realm of eternity. That's why some of these messages are timeless. Even after 30 years, they will still be relevant because they come by the wisdom of God. There are some messages that have gone extinct. As the church of God is growing, they pack them and throw them away. But there are certain fathers of faith who have gone to be with the Lord. But their messages are timeless because they were a byproduct of this wisdom. Get wisdom. Get understanding. He said, exalt and she shall promote you. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 1. It says, God who in sundry times and diverse manners spake to us. So, he spake to us in sundry times and in diverse manners. Communicates his wisdom to us. Shiva katabalaraba. An idea that people will be dying for in the night see do you know that solomon received his wisdom in a dream if he had a roommate the roommate will never know that something has happened you just wake up in the morning come on now not the same person who slept i pray that someone will sleep in the night as an ordinary person and wake up in the morning with an order of wisdom i cried to god yes in my life i said lord I want you to give me this wisdom this message i'm preaching to you tonight 
it's an old message it's an old message i'm preaching to you my experience i found this thing and i said come on lord a 12 year old boy lord i'm available give me wisdom that is bigger than my level in life give me wisdom that is bigger than my experience give me wisdom that is bigger than everything i know that wisdom will take you to a place where everybody around you is an elder except you yet they will give you a seat among the great there are some of you this wisdom will make if you ever see your colleagues it's just because you want to discuss with them but as far as success is concerned uh -uh, it will take you to a realm everybody is far older than you they'll say how did you come this fast it takes men years to do this exploits by this dimension of wisdom through wisdom is any house built through wisdom through wisdom through wisdom through wisdom through wisdom there are times i'm meditating nobody distracts me because at that time the spirit of wisdom comes into my room and begins to bring illumination witty ideas inventions on common solutions that are not known to men hear me many of you will have it may not speak now because of the time component of life but wait until he starts speaking see there are some of you i tell you the truth zaria is too small for you everybody is watching you but you know that what is inside you is bigger than zaria is bigger than nigeria that young man called zuckerberg before facebook went far there were people who wanted to buy it before the idea became global and they wanted to buy it for 8 billion he had not even become a millionaire then he was just they wanted to price his idea he said no i know this thing will shake the world 8 billion is too small at that level see i tell you the truth in my mind i've left zaria in my mind i'm out of this country there are some of you the bible says there are some people this earth was not worthy of this earth was not worthy of you are seated in the crowd some of you as you are looking at me like this that's how one day you will sit down wisdom will give you a seat there are no vacant seats only the one wisdom creates the seats in nigeria have finished but wisdom can make room it can give you a seat i bring you a message stop wasting your life and wasting your time galloping in confusion you can walk circumspectly no matter what the price is pay it with wisdom and you will know you are paying it for the last time hallelujah rise up on your feet let us give our generation what our fathers did not give for the next five minutes we are going to cry I want you to take it serious you're going to cry your heart the bible says let him ask of god i have seen this in my life in a measure i can tell you there is something called the spirit of wisdom you will shock men lift your voice and begin to cry Zekete prekete belerererebos Manda prate katayana basa Wisdom is the principal thing Wisdom is the principal thing Wisdom is the principal thing Shoko prote kete Thank God for your degree But get wisdom Thank God for PhD But get wisdom Thank God for books But get wisdom Shekete te boko tope that divine ability to take the word of God and translate it come on pray sister pray my brother pray for the sake of your generation pray it say Lord I always knew I'm not ordinary 
Come on, pray like a warrior. Pray like a champion. Pray like a destiny shaker. You will do terrible things in righteousness. You will do terrible things. The wisdom of God. The wisdom of God. You will shock men. You will shock men in business. You will surprise people in entrepreneurship. You will bring for things that have never been done before in your career. You will excel through wisdom in your academics. Wisdom will give you a place that your age cannot give you. Wisdom will take you beyond your geographical limitation. Pray. 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 I receive this wisdom. Take it serious tonight. This is a destiny decision. Take it serious tonight. This can be the difference between you and other people. Show close to me. A Koryata. Lord, change my life. Change my life. Change my life. I'm ready to leave the realm where I am to a higher level. I am tired of this level of finances. Tired of this level of leadership. Tired of this level of grace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are going to pray right now and say, Lord, I receive a baptism of love for you and grace to bless your people. Lift your voice and pray. A baptism of love. A baptism of love. Beyond church. Beyond church. Beyond prayer meetings. A baptism of love. With a fresh passion, a fresh passion, a fresh passion, a fresh passion. Hallelujah! 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 Next prayer point. You're going to say, Lord, this night, kill greed and self-centeredness from my life forever lift your voice and pray lord kill it greed self-centeredness take it away from my life that mentality of i me and myself that mindset where you are just thinking of yourself no you will never access wisdom that way I kill self-centeredness in the name of Jesus. I consider others better than myself. The spirit of greed depart from God's people. This Nigerian mentality of greed, this Nigerian mentality of self-centeredness, be God from us. We are the blessed ones. Empower to bless mankind. 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 
Fire is burning in this place. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. I will read this and we will take the last prayer point. I tell you, this wisdom is hitting somebody in this place. I know it. Some of you will write it from this night. Listen to me. Proverbs 18. I will read it. Oh my God. Some of you, your, your family will thank you on their knees. They will thank you. They will thank you. You may look like you are nothing. I don't care how your past has been. God specializes in using the things that people think. Some of you have failed so much in life. You don't ever think you can make it. I tell you, take advantage of this wisdom. And see how you will be in command of life. Hallelujah. Listen. Let me just read this quickly. Listen. Proverbs 18. This is wisdom speaking. Doth not wisdom cry. And understanding standard up. Standard understanding put forth our voice. Listen. She stands at the top of high places. By the way of the places of paths, listen. She cries at the gates and at the entry of the city, at the entrance of the doors. Unto you, O oh men, I call. This is wisdom crying, calling for attention, calling businessmen for attention, calling entrepreneurs for attention. Calling ministers for attention. Calling family people. Wisdom is begging and saying you have paid attention to other things. Can you not give me your attention? I will lay down my idols and thrones I have made and all that has taken my heart. Lord, I will bow. I will bow to you to no other God but you, Lord. Mm. And Lord, I will worship you. Nothing hands have made but you, Lord. Listen, when you get to this point, you will see dimensions of grace that will scare you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? This is what it means, seek first his kingdom. Every time God sees you, he knows that you want to be rich. He knows that you want to finish your education. He knows that you want to get married. But you have said, Lord, as great as these things are, I have come to the end of myself. I have come to the end of myself. I have come to the end of my. And you say, Lord, compared to marriage or compared to your presence, let money go. Compared to your presence, let marriage go compared to everything at that point he has become king of kings and lord of lords hallelujah and that is the realm where before you call he will answer god will trust you with levels of wealth that you never dreamt imaginable god will trust you with dimensions of anointing and power and grace and men will say, from whence come at this? What we have never seen it in this fashion. But there are many of us. We want God to be somewhere in our lives. Please take seriously what I'm sharing tonight. You can go back there, sir. Many of us, God is number 70 something, not even number four. 70 something. There are so many things. Bless my mother. Bless my father. Heal me from the cancer. Do everything. Are they wrong? No. 
But every time God looks at you, he wants to see the priority. Hallelujah. Listen, there are many ministries. I was sharing with someone yesterday and the person looked at me and I said, today, there will be so many people coming from everywhere, trusting and expecting that God is going to bless them. Hallelujah. The person saw how that people were ringing my phones, doing a lot of things. I was praying. I was spending time in God's presence. And I looked, I said, listen, there is a reason. And I learned that from God's servant, Johnson Suleiman. Hallelujah. I've shared the story with you people. When you get distracted, are you getting my point? And get carried away by ministry and all of these things, the protocol people standing well, the great man of God, Joshua Selman, coming to do his things. Those things are deceitful. Are you hearing what I'm saying? They are deceitful. That's why some people will never enter certain levels of grace. Enjoy the honor, but never let it get inside you. Create a space that nothing can take. Belongs to God. God knows that I love him with all my heart. Let ministry go. Let anointing go. Let grace to heal the sick go. It's not my ministry. It's God's ministry. If I die today, you will cry for one week. And say what happened. After that, that's the end of it. The journey continues. When you recognize this, something will happen to you. You will no longer be carried away. Even the anointing, listen, the anointing of the Holy Ghost in your life can become an idol. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The anointing has a compelling effect. When you are healing the sick, casting devils out and doing all of the great things, it's easy to forget that you are under authority and there is one greater than you. There are people tonight, you are not sick. But what you need is fresh fire. Because you started well. Please don't stop playing. You started well. But as you were going and God trusted you. With little levels of grace and anointing. You didn't even know when you left God and started doing ministry. Tonight, you need restoration. As a matter of urgency. Some of us, God trusted us with influence. God trusted us with power. Have you heard people tell you, I remember those days. You can't walk to me sick and go back. No. What has happened? Don't let my love grow cold. I'm crying out. Light the fire again. I need your discipline. I'm crying out. Light the fire again. Don't let my love grow cold. I'm crying out. Light the fire again. I need your discipline. I'm crying out. Light the fire again. There are some of us here. Not only is God not a priority, He's not even in the equation of our life. You have never considered it a factor. Are you getting my point now? Many people run to God like an emergency unit in the hospital. Oh God, the harbor list has failed. Since you are the only one left, you better do something. And you harass every man of God around you as if you paid him to make sure you get healed. But when we get blessed, we run away. Listen, I'm saying this again and again. It's not a difficult thing for God to invade our lives. But the question is, can God trust you? Lord, I want spiritual power. Fine. It's available. Can God trust you? Lord, I want prosperity. I want to be a millionaire. Fine. 
Can God trust you? Lord, I want to get married. Can God trust you? You're not even disciplined as you are. You can't see any lady and go and sit down quietly. You can't see any guy and sit down quietly. Lord, I want marriage. What kind of kids do you want to raise? And God says, it's not a big deal. Can I trust you? Lord, I want a great ministry. Someone was sending me a, a, a text message. And he said, great man of God of our time. Exclamation mark. Then he said a number of other nice things. And at the end of it, you know, he said, oh, this and that and that. And I looked, I said, ah, yeah. He said, I wish to be like you. And I sent him a text. I said, all things are available in the spirit. Can God trust you? This is the question God is asking some of us tonight. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Is it really hard for God to heal you? Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. That's what God is asking you tonight. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. But God is saying, you must get to a point where you love me beyond anointing. Listen, I ring this every time. This is the law of exchange I taught us two weeks ago you don't get nothing for nothing that junk does not exist in the kingdom there is always something your heart your life hallelujah because there are so many of us when we see the wonderful things that God is doing in this ministry and we honor God. You cannot imagine how deeply grateful I am. Let me tell you something. As a leader, I account for only very little of the success of this ministry. Very little. I'm not embarrassed by it. There is one mightier than I am. He's the real owner. What you see happening is just stewardship. It will never confuse me. We never confuse roles with God. I have never tried to take his role. The cross is too heavy to kill me. I know when to stand and allow him to do the things that he will. Tonight, God wants your heart. Everybody say, God wants my heart. Yes. God wants your heart. Brothers and sisters, it is not a difficult thing for God to change your story. Read the Bible and see how God changed people's situation overnight. There are many of us, it was when you got into trouble that you left God. So wrong. That's when you should hold on to him like the woman with the issue of blood. If your challenges make you run away from God, who will you run to? The devil... Hallelujah. It's not enough to watch miracles. There'll be miracles everywhere. There'll be miracles here tonight. There'll be miracles everywhere. Right? Nobody is doubting that. I told you God said there will be mighty visitations. There will be impartations. And all kinds of visitations. But the trouble is, will you just leave this place happy and excited? Wow, it was great. Did you see the sick person? Did you see the deliverances? Did you see the breakthroughs and the word of knowledge and the manifestation of the gift of the spirit? Did you hear the worship team? Did you see the organization? If that is all you live here with tonight, you have cheated yourself. Because there are many of us who are spectators. We are enjoying the euphoria of organization. But tonight you must lose sight of these things. And say, Lord, I have come for business. 
if you do not change me i will not be changed if you do not heal me i will not be healed but lord take my heart that's my message i've been ringing this for years the lord told me something years ago he said son if you can let men see me there is nothing i will not give you hallelujah Lord, have your way in our lives. Let this be a true confession. Please take seriously what I'm saying. Especially for those of us who are in ministry. There's all kinds of frustration in ministry. Because many people want power. They want increase. I told you the best way to be in ministry is to get out of ministry. And focus on his presence. That is when you make the loudest noise and the loudest impact. Koinonia will keep rising from glory to glory for as long as our focus is not on the great things. Don't get me wrong. We take time to celebrate what God is doing. We appreciate the wisdom and the excellence. We appreciate the presence and the leadership of the spirit. But let me tell you above and beyond this our hearts we are dead men i can tell you this we have given him everything if god says this is the last miracle service this is the last koinonia service there is nothing left no more koinonia i will announce it to you as i've had it i will join you crying you will join me crying we'll hold ourselves and walk out of this place and i'll go back and say thank you jesus what do i do next do you love God that much? Can you lay down in quote the walls that you have spent years building at the request of God? Can you lay it down? You spent years going to school. At the end of it, God said, just keep it. And we'll take another turn. You say, God, no way. You don't cheat me like that. I'm a smart Nigerian. There's a way I can walk. We can patch it up. Hallelujah. There are many of you, you have, you have refused to get married because God has told you that married man you are doing part-time relationship with, break up completely so that God will give you a full-time husband. You are saying, oh Lord, who is going to take care of my needs? You are born again. But he's not a priority in your life. And then you sleep in the night and all kinds of demonic things come. And you cry in the name of Jesus. And the demons even help you to shout. He said, let me help you say it louder. And you are like, Jesus Christ, what is going on? The name of Jesus is only powerful when it is in the lips of those who are lovers of God indeed. Hallelujah. Koinonia, listen to me. It is never my ambition. Please, I want you to hear this. It is never my ambition to remain, in quote, a superstar man of God who always comes to sit down. Here comes Joshua Selman, protocol leading him. And I come and I sit down. Wonderful. And the worship team sings. I told you, we, we taught on the ecclesia last week. And I told you that the purpose of the church is to be trained and released to enforce the kingdom. If all we are doing is becoming great men of God and you are not rising, then we are failures, even if the world is clapping for us. The goal is that the least person among us will become as great as David. There is space for everybody in the world. Even if all of us become men of God, there are enough sinners to occupy everybody. There are enough sick people to occupy everybody. But the problem is, will God have your heart? Sister, if you can give God your heart, there is nothing he cannot make out of your life. Yes, you graduated with a third class. You know, humanly speaking, that in Nigeria, that third class may not give you a job. You go for interview, you are embarrassed. You don't even want to show your, your result because you see rows of first class students, genuine first class students, and you are wondering, and Lord, the Lord is saying, can you give it to me? 
give me that certificate and see what I will make out of your life. Lord, help me trust you. Help me trust you. What makes us believe that you, you, you are destroyed when you come to God? There is an ugly theology flying around the church. That theology that God makes failures out of people who love him. I tell you it's not true. The temporary moment of suffering and constraints may be there. Romans chapter 8 verse 18 says, I reckon that the sufferings, there will be constraints. It's not going to be a landslide movement. But if you can wait, you will rise like the eagle. And you will astonish men. Lord, we want to see your power and your glory in our lives. And so we seek you. If God does not give you a job, no man can give you. No herbalist can give you. No Godfather can give you. If God does not preserve your life, even if Boko Haram does not bomb you, have you not heard of people who sat down quietly in their house and a truck came and carried everybody? If the Lord has not been our help, now may Israel say, I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about. I lay me down and I slept. I wait for the Lord sustains me. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, you lift my head. But thou, shield for me my glory the lifter up of my head tonight God is calling on us everybody listen to me inside and outside would you make God a priority win the war in your heart this night and let God become your priority what is it that has taken his place? I know you are sick in your body. But tonight, there are women here, there are mothers, there are people here. Fathers, you saw the glory of God in the days of your youth. But the pain of Nigeria has drifted a lot of people away from God. For me to leave God is death. He has become my obsession has nothing to do with ministry you love God but if that guy should stand side by side with God you will choose him hallelujah I want you to see the power of God we are going to soon stand up and we'll have a few minutes of prayer and worship and we just let God, I tell you, there will be a mighty visitation in this place tonight. The Lord told me this. There will be a mighty visitation. Hallelujah. But the Lord is calling you. He's calling you deeper. 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 He's calling you MOG, where is God in your ministry? Somewhere behind. While ministry programs and conferences and conventions have taken his place. Businessman and woman, 
Where is God in the equation of your life? Prospective husband and wife, where is God in the equation of your life? Students, where did you keep God? This is Chem 3 1 something, sociology something something, this and that, and Jesus Christ is somewhere roaming around. Needed like a herbalist when the going is tough and then you return him back. Tonight, may an addiction for the things of God come upon your life. Please listen to me. This is the realm that when you walk in, no power in existence can prevail over you. Challenges are okay. Defeat is unusual for a Christian. Hallelujah. Many of us have come here tonight because you are hungry. Some of us have come because we are at the end of our road. Someone just invited you and said you have tried everywhere. You've gone to Zaria City. You've done everything. Why don't you just come to God? And you dragged yourself here and said, well, Lord, let's see what happens. I tell you, you are in for a shock tonight. God will beat you above and beyond your expectation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Bless you guys. Rise up on your feet, everybody. We are going to pray. Just two prayer points. And then we'll worship. Lift your hands and lift your voice and begin to prophesy. Take everything, oh God. Come on, pray now, everybody. Take everything. Take everything. My life belongs to you. Take the talent, oh God. Take the talent. Take the gift. Take everything. Pray from the depths of your heart and say, Lord, in any way, in any way, I have allowed other things to take your place in my life. Tonight I repent. I repent, oh God. I repent, oh God. I repent, oh God. Pray from the depths of your heart. Many of us have never given our hearts to the Lord. You've gone to church. You have a Christian name. But you've never given your heart to the Lord. It's not enough to see power. It's not enough to see miracles. Hallelujah. I'm going to make a very serious altar call right now. I don't want you to sit down thinking about it. Because I know there are people. There are people here tonight. Inside and outside. Probably you followed someone and you came. Probably you are struggling with a sickness or a terminal disease. The doctor has given you the letter and said you have a few months to live. It all starts with Jesus tonight. Hallelujah. There are two sets of people I'm going to call. And they will all come at once. Those who have never made a decision. Don't deceive yourself tonight. I don't care whether you are a pastor, whether you are a pope. You've never given your heart to Jesus. To say, Lord, I, I surrender my life truly. And then there's the second category. Those who are saying, Lord, I'm tired of lying to myself. I know that this thing I'm doing is not Christianity. I need a fresh start. People have told me it's alright. I want to make my way right. Yes, you have come out once. You even prayed for. You even fell down under the anointing. But you are saying, Lord, I'm rededicating my life tonight. Those two categories of people, as I, as I count one to ten, I'd like you to run like you're running away from fire. Right now, inside and outside. One. Two. Run like you are running for escape. Run like like there is fire burning 
and it's a matter of urgency forget about your friends forget about who is looking at you or who is not looking at you this is the key to a glorious destiny keep coming keep coming keep coming I don't care what you have done I don't care what you have done I don't care who is castigating you Jesus is ready to give you a new beginning tonight everything I give to you with holding nothing don't sit back there when the Holy Ghost is asking you to come out God is still telling me that he's talking to people. God is still speaking to people. Many people inside. Many people outside. Forget about your friend. This is a destiny decision. I surrender all. I surrender all to you. Everything. Those of you in front here. Begin to open up your heart to the Lord from the depths of your heart. Cry out your heart. Say, Lord, enough is enough. With holding nothing. Come on, sing it one more time. I surrender. I give to you with holding nothing. With holding nothing, will you give your heart away? That's what God is asking you to those of you in front. Will you give your life away so he can use you? Will you give your life away so he can use me? Lord, I give myself away. Pray. Don't let your tears stop you. You may cry, but pray. So he. One more time, everyone. I give myself away. Give myself away. So you can use me. I see some of you crying. I see some of you under heavy demonic oppression. But let me tell you, this is the best decision you have made tonight. It's never too late to start. I don't care what you have done. Listen. Listen. Listen to me. I want you to know, those of you here, it is never too late with the Lord. Are you hearing what I'm saying? He won the victory. He gave you the victory on the cross. Jesus said it is finished. There are many things happening in your life. And the solution is not to go and try to solve it some other way. You must make up your mind and say from today. Hallelujah. You must be determined from your heart. That's how it starts. Hallelujah. You have won the Come and worship with me. Hallelujah. You've won it all for me. You have won it all for me. Just that part. One more time. Hallelujah. 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 You have won the victory.
your hands those of you in front i'm about to lead you to a very serious prayer you're not reciting a poem we are about to depopulate the kingdom of hell right now never forget this day for as long as you live some of you are rededicating your lives some of you are giving your heart to jesus for the first time i don't care what category say after me lord jesus i believe in you i surrender my life to you i repent of my old ways i accept the free gift of eternal life i receive it in my spirit and i declare that jesus is lord of my life from today i go forward ever and backward never satan stay away from my life i've made my choice jesus is my savior i've made my choice jesus is my lord father preserve these ones in the name of the lord jesus let this not be an emotional decision let it be a sincere decision from the depths of your heart and i break the power of sin over your life the weight that doth easily beset you i crush it right now in the name of jesus i release you the righteousness of god is at work in your life and for those of you who have come sick i like you to relax and watch the mighty one step into your life hallelujah now in one minute you come back we're about to start the healing session right now so please just walk this way follow the ushers they'll just have your details and you come back quickly and join us in the service celebrate them everybody celebrate them koinonia young and old alike lift your hands everybody and say visit me visit me visit me pray in one minute everyone lift your hands and say lord the time has come i'm tired of this sickness the time has come i need a prophetic word that will take me to the next level of my life please pray pray and say lord visit me visit me please ushers be fast with them be fast with them so that they can return back everyone begin to pray in the holy ghost just begin to pray in one minute hallelujah 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 there is nothing we can do without you Jesus reveal yourself in a mighty way let the sick be healed oh God so many people are here trusting God for all kinds of miracles breakthroughs marriages jobs healings and deliverances lord we thank you for that which you will be doing be glorified be glorified be glorified in the name of jesus christ hallelujah sorry about the congestion um protocol and ushers please walk together to make everything fast hallelujah before we start the healing session, I just want to do something very quickly. It's Mike's birthday. Come here, Mike.
Alléluia. I told him I was going to give him a surprise. Alléluia. Celebrate him. A lovely music director. Alléluia. Mike, we love you. God bless you. Stretch your hands and prophesy. Ask the Lord to make him better than he is. Very faithful worker. Pray and bless him. We speak over your destiny in the name of Jesus. You will never be small. We speak over your life. You will do mighty things. Because of you, the worship team will step into a greater dimension. Hallelujah. I hear in my spirit greatness, greatness, greatness. The Lord is bringing you into prophetic seasons of greatness. This new season is a greatness, is a, is a level of greatness and prosperity. You will enter a level of financial prosperity that will surprise you and will surprise all around you. The Lord is determined to do it. Bless his hands, O God. May this be so in his life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please lift your hands. The power of God is strong in this place. Lord, we give you praise. Visit us, O God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Visit us by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let your healing virtue, let your grace, let everything that you have, let the dense weight of your person come upon us in mighty ways. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, my God, help me. Just play the keyboard for me. And then let's trust God for a great time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is starting tonight's meeting in a very strange way. Instrumentalist, let's walk together now. Hallelujah. Please hurry up as soon as you get down your name. Just return. There will be a very mighty impartation in this place. Hallelujah. Not deliverance, impartation. God is going to be moving in a very strong way and is going to be bringing strong impartation upon people. It's going to be a wildfire of the spirit. Hallelujah. Strings, please. Exalted high above the worship of the people of the earth. I see the Lord, I see the Lord, for my eyes have seen the King. He's a lamb upon the throne, lamb upon the throne, who reigns for Please, everyone, lift your hands inside and outside. Lift it as high as you can lift it. Lift your hands. Listen. Listen, please. The Spirit of God is in this place. Hallelujah. And the angels of the Lord, please don't stop playing. Are in this place this is a very very prophetic moment now the Lord is going to be moving from inside and outside and he's going to be separating certain people this is not deliverance although that can happen this is a heavy impartation the weight of God is about to mantle people in very strong ways hallelujah 
please lift your hands father I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus all those who belong to this category in the name that is above all names lift your hands my God Lord at the count of three let there be a wild move of the spirit one two three shekete rekete teketa no kompreteskete lekete rebos outside bring them out bring them out touch an impartation of fire let there be a separation separate them oh god separate them oh god outside the power of god is falling now outside is hitting men right now like a tornado outside outside there are angels outside the power of god is falling like a wildfire a separation a separation take it take it take it take it take it it's a separation a wild fire let it engulf them oh god let it burn let the call from the throne let the call from the throne let it come upon visitors lord those who are visiting in koinonia may they take the fire now may the visitors take the fire now yeah, 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 So te 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 la ba 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 ba. There are angels outside. I tell you, there is a move of fire all across the first overflow. At the back, the overflow at the back outside. The overflow at the back outside. The fire of God is falling. The overflow at the back outside. The fire of God is falling. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. An army rising up yeah. to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There's an army rising up. Come on, there's an army. They will break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Lift your hands. God is not done yet. I told you there will be a visitation. Listen, at the count of three, many people will enter visionary experiences right now vision vision one two three take it take it vision vision take it take it vision i open up prophetic land take it take it vision 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 step into realms of vision, prophecy, vision, prophecy, I ignite fire. Hallelujah. Visions, visions, 
visions. Look at me. Look at me. Take it now. Take it in this row. An angel is walking in this row. This row now. Now this row. Take it. 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 Take it now. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising. They are rising up. To break every chain. Hallelujah. HOD, step into new levels of grace, two of you. Take it. Take it now. Goodness. The power of God is strong upon me. Gande la kata te kata. Rakata pande brende keta. Sopro te pente ke. Rekete skete. Rekete. 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 Rekete te te. A protoscope rekete, rekete. The hand of the Lord is upon me. The hand of the Lord is upon me. Reposkete da. Let the Spirit of God move in power. Break chains. Kete kete le ba 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 ba. Eke re 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 mau. Eke te protoscope ba ba ba. It will break every chain. They will break every chain. There is a row that the power of God is moving outside. There is a row outside. It will start with a lady. There is a lady right now under the power of God. And it will follow to that row. Open the floodgates of heaven, O God. Hallelujah. All of you in this front row, just hold your hands. Just this row looking at me. Hold your hands. Lift it up. Father, let it come like a mighty wind. Take it now. 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 Soto prete ke te te ta. Repete ke te 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 ba. Som prete ke ta la ba 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 ba. Let it come like fire. Yeah. Sarah, 
Sarah. The Lord is giving me the name of someone, Sarah. Sarah. Just leave them, don't worry. Don't, don't scatter what God is doing. Hallelujah. God is bringing deliverance to your family. Hold my hands. It ends now. Now! 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 Be delivered. I cast that devil. I cast that devil by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. We will have a visitation tonight. Lift your hands. I want to cause spirits that are responsible for marital delay. Every spirit wife, every spirit husband, many of you will be surprised at what will happen to you. Some of you are already out. You came out for impartation. Lift your hands. At the count of three, the fire of the spirit will be separating men. Every devil causing delay in marriage at the count of three. I want you to shout the name Jesus. Lord, as they shout Jesus, I expose every devil and it leaves them forever. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Be free now. Now. I cause spirits. I cause spirits. Marital delay. I cause spirits. Every marital delay. I cause you. I open doors of marriages now. Doors of marriage be open. Every spell. Every enchantment. Every act of divination right now, I set you on fire, on fire, on fire, on fire, on fire, on fire now. I challenge altars, I challenge thrones, I challenge spells. We break every chain, we break every chain. We break every chain. We break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Let her go now. Go. Let her go now. Go. Be free. Lay your hands on your stomach. God is setting you free. The devil must let you go. There's someone in this room where I'm standing. The power of God will come upon you now. Somebody in this room, a strong anointing will come upon that person. Please speak that person right now. He's coming by the power of the Holy Spirit. There's one person. It's a deliverance fire. It will fall on you right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Pick the person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing someone holding like a child outside. Who is that person? The Lord is showing me in a vision. Please pick them inside. I'm seeing someone. It's like you're holding. Is it a child I'm seeing? Is there such person like that? Please. Who is that? Come, 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 come. Please. Save time. We have to minister to other people. There's this lady standing close to you. That lady. 
Yes, with white head tie. My dear, it's time. lift your hands where you are. Visit her now, oh God. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I cast that wicked spirit in the name of Jesus. Listen. Those of you here, just lift your hands. Lift your hands. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. There will be a wild move of the spirit because I see a lot of demonic oppressions. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Let the power of God move. Move right now. Move right now. Move right now. I cause every power. I cause every power. Bring them in. Let her go now to break every chain. Who brought her? What's wrong with her? At times like this, she does. This is demonic oppression. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Is she okay? She's not okay. Look at me. Hold my hands. Satan, let her go now. Look at what is happening. Are you seeing this? Look at the spirit tormenting her. Let her go. Let your legs be stretched now. Look at what is happening to the legs. Is the camera watching? Watch this. This is the power of God by itself. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go now. 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 Watch this. Look at her deliverance. Out. Out of her now. Out. Out, out, kate paratapa. I return her back to sanity. Every madness out of her now. Excuse me. Every madness out, out. Never returns. I see an altar on fire. This is what I'm seeing. This is what is responsible. Let me tell you every altar speaking against everyone tonight it will catch fire this night in the name of the lord jesus christ thank you jesus liver stand up stand up and follow me stand up by yourself and follow me stand up come follow me stand up walk Come, come. Come on, can you sing? I hear the chains falling. I hear the chains. I hear the chains falling. Every madness of the devil has to find its way. There is power. Look at what look at what the devil has done to this lady. Huh? Look at are you seeing for meeting? Look at the things that the devil has done. Bastardize this lady's life. Look at me. What's your name? Blessing. What's your name? Blessing. What's your name? Blessing. Say Jesus. Jesus. Say I am fine. She literally ate her mouth and injured it like that. Look at. You can see where the skin was taken. Look at me. Follow me. Say, I am fine. I'm fine. Say, I'm fine. I'm fine. It never returns to you again. <laughs> Stretch your hands and say, it's over. <laughs> this deliverance is over. <laughs> if there is any other person with any sign of madness in this place or any kind of psychosomatism, be free now in the name of Jesus. Be free now in the name of Jesus. Look at me. The demons that torment you have left you and will never return to you again. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 
I want to pray for you. Please take her child. This is, I'm seeing witchcraft. The Lord is showing me witchcraft. People will rise in the family. When they get to a point, something hits them down. And that's the end of it. No matter what happens. This is what the Lord is showing me. But the Lord is going to bring deliverance. Please lift your hands. Because this is, I'm seeing a lot of witchcraft. My God and my King, let this thing end right now. Because this thing is not just with you alone. It's with your family members. My God, let it end now. Let it end now. Even to your husband. Let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Out of her. Out of her. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Madam, this is your child. Please hold, hold the child. Where is your husband? Eh? Where is he? He's in summer. What's he doing? We have to pray for him. You know why I asked? I'm seeing the spirit of death. Huh? I'm seeing a man holding, and please, if I'm lying, tell me I'm lying. I'm seeing a man holding like chalk, huh? chalk, writing, as in his writing. Is he a teacher? A lecturer. He's a lecturer. This is death coming on him, and we have to break it. Are you getting that now? Do you believe it? If you don't believe, I will just leave you before you now turn and say this person. The reason why we say this is because I understand that there are all kinds of perverted visions and revelations and corruption of the prophetic so everybody that seems to reveal something people just think that ah this person has done this and that are you getting my point now i must not see god must not show me what is happening to her husband for him to be delivered i hope you know that the word of god is potent enough to deliver the person you understand but god does these things as a sign and a wonder hallelujah a family is about to be delivered right now in the name of the Lord Jesus a family is about to be delivered right now delivered now I'm not speaking out now I hear the chains falling two of you come are you related come 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 two of you yes what's your relationship eh is your boss you are learning to sew in his place don't laugh. I don't mean love relationship. I mean, what's your relationship? Huh? Because I saw the clothes I'm wearing on you. Suddenly. Are you getting my point now? God is just delivering people. Out! Let her go. Uh, ushers, you are still not exempted. Be doing your work and be sensitive. Anything can happen to you. Be doing your work and be very, very... Please, everybody be sensitive. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. You will experience dramatic increase in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hold your hands together. There's witchcraft in your family. Wait. Yes, sir. It's true. There's everybody. It's not like every. This is death. This is delay marriage. Wait now. Calm down. God is going to set you free. Huh? Look at me. Just look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. Try to look at me. Do your best. Do your very best. He's unable to look at me just because it's an instruction. It's not like it's any herbal thing. God is setting you free. A habit is leaving you and a curse is leaving you. You look at me. Do your best. Lord, I attack witchcraft to its root. Out! 
out. Something's moving, something's changing. Feels like heaven on earth. Something's moving, something's changing. your husband in the name of the Lord Jesus every spirit of death by the blood we command that you leave him in the name of Jesus none shall die in the name of Jesus Christ come sign up it's time for God to step into your family run and come see I don't need to call you just connect by faith God is already touching people and families. Are you getting my point now? Financial increase is coming to your family. Take it now. Financial increase. Mighty increase. Coming to your family. That's what the Lord is telling me. Mighty increase. I break the limitation. The same thing is happening to that lady. That's why this is happening. Every other person, oh God, that you are bringing financial increase. I know everybody will be touched. Listen, when God does one and you see other people reacting, it's because it's the same prophecy. So let's just maximize what God is doing. Lift your hands. Father, everyone who belongs to this category, at the count of three, may the anointing to make it happen be released. One, two, three. Take it now. 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 Financial bondage. Broken. Outside. Broken. This is a cause of hardship. In the name of Jesus, let her go. I release her and her family. Out! Out! That cause of hardship. Out! The Lord is bringing increase for your father. I'm seeing traditional things. These are habal things I'm seeing in a shrine. The Lord is taking them away and bringing serious financial increase to your family. Lord, confirm your word. I've spoken as you have shown me. Let it be confirmed in the name of Jesus. This is your baby. Please give somebody hold the baby. Take away this garment of shame over your life. In the name of Jesus. This garment of shame. Go! Be set free, be delivered. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Who is Eunice? Eunice. 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 God is ministering to me. A lady called Eunice. Who is that? Please, if it's your name or someone related, we have to save time. Eunice. Gabriel. Gabriel. 
Gabriel. Gabriel. I'm seeing the last digits of a GSM number. 221. 221. That's the last digit of your phone number. 221. Who is that? You are the one? Do I know you? Okay, Gabriel. Okay. 221. Please, if that is yours, just come out. 221. The last digits. 221. Please verify. Don't come and tell us lies here. 221. That's what I'm seeing. It's like something covered the rest and I'm seeing 221. If that is yours, please come on. Gabriel, can I pray for you? Stand up, please, sir. What do you do? I'm an artist. Is that the only thing you do? Final department. Okay. I want to pray for you. Because what God is showing me, I'm not seeing you drawing. Huh? This is this is business I'm seeing. You look at me. Do you believe what I'm saying? I want to pray for you because things are tight for you right now. You're just looking, but things are not are really, really tight. Father, visit him. You called out Gabriel. Receive this visitation right now. In the name of Jesus. My name is Gabriel too. Who is Adamu? Huh? He's a man in Kano. What? A man in Kano. Where do I know Adamu from? What's your relationship with Adamu? We work together. We work together. Is he a nice man? No. He's a wicked man. God is bringing justice to you. Hold my hands. Look at me. Have I met you? Do I know you? How do I know that there's a relationship between Gabriel and Adamu? Do you believe that God is setting you free? Father, like it was for Jacob and Laban, let there be justice. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may there be mighty justice. Look, let me tell you, your life is about to change. It will shock you. Huh? But your relationship with God, did you, de did you rededicate your life here? Do your own now. You are supposed to come out. Why did you stay back? This is what is giving legal access. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Lift your hands. Say after me, Lord Jesus. I'm serious with my relationship with you. I make up my mind to stop playing games. From tonight, I'm a genuine child of God. Women, out of his life. Every spirit of immorality lost and every related thing I cost you. Be free. My God will give you promotion that will honor you and lift him in Jesus name. Why are you here? Why are they here? What next? Eh? All of you are Eunice. Is she married? There is a garment of shame God is taking away from your life. Huh? You are a lady boy, it's like you are a man. Nobody is coming to you, nobody cares, nobody is even saying your hair is fine. We have to take this thing away. Look at me, my dear. It's not normal, we have to curse it. Lord Jesus, help this lady. Now, I restore that glory in the name of Jesus Christ. I won't say it here, but be careful. Huh? You, you understand what I'm saying, right? Do you understand? Please be very careful. The devil comes to steal, kill, and what? Destroy. Hmm? But God shows you mercy and grace. Huh? Lay your hands on your stomach. Thank you, Jesus. Let there be perfection. The 
Lord is not even talking about you. He's talking about your elder ones. I've seen them. It's because it's the same thing that is happening there. I've taught you people. Bring out. Lord, let it be over now. Lay your hands on my hands. Just lay your hands on my hands. It ends. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. I appoint unto you a season of liberty. In the name of the Lord Jesus. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To give them beauty for ashes. What is happening to you is happening to her. At the same time. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To give them beauty for ashes. It's the same thing that is happening to her. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is going to do something strange in this place right now. All of you from Kogi State, lift your hands. Just lift your hands. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Lift your hands. This is a very strange instruction. There will be massive deliverance right now. Follow me, instrumentalist, please. At the count of three, this is a territorial deliverance. Lift your hands, please. Follow me, instrumentalist. One, every altar. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Shake it, 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 it. outside. I command the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. All the children that have been buried, the blood. Lord, in Kogi State, as you have shown me, every Kogi person, every altar against your life, catch fire now. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Bring them out. Bring them out. Deliverance. Every altar, the children that have been buried, I command the earth, share in the word of the Lord. I come with an apostolic territorial mantle. Let there be deliverance. Massive deliverance. Now, now, I'm seeing snakes. I'm seeing snakes. All kinds of snakes. All kinds of snakes. This is what I'm seeing. They catch fire now. They catch fire now. Every serpent, every devil. I speak to shrines. I speak to altars. I speak to covens. By the anointing of the Spirit. For the Spirit of the Lord. Tonight is upon me. I challenge you. I command an exodus. An exodus. An exodus. You will hear testimonies. They will carry the dead bodies of men. Those who are found, they will carry dead bodies of witches and wizards that will not let you go. I 
command the vengeance of God let the dagger of judgment fall upon every shrine let the dagger of God's judgment I command it if I be an apostle of God I command it Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Come on, lift your hands and worship. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. You have won. Everyone who is sick, lay your hands there right now. For time's sake, we may not have everyone come out, but lay your hands. Something miraculous will happen in this place right now. Wherever you are, lay your hands. Some you're laying your hands, but what is, if it's in an area that you cannot lay your hands, just lay your hands on your chest. Hallelujah. Now listen. Listen. The moment I pray for you, the power of God is already healing people right now. Check yourself. The moment you find out that the miracle is happening to you, maybe not everybody, just run out and come and stand here. There will be an explosion of miracles. You must celebrate what God is doing. Who shall declare a thing and it shall come to pass when my God has not established it. Hallelujah. Lay your hands now. And while Jesus was teaching, the power of God was present to heal. The Bible says, and when the even was come, they brought unto him all that were sick and crippled and oppressed. Please take it serious. This is a miracle service. We don't fake it in this place. A miracle is about to happen. As I begin to command, please check yourself. Start doing what you could not do. This is the point where your faith is needed. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, and by the mystery of the blood that pays the price for the ransom of anything in the spirit, the blood is a receipt that can pay for anything in the spirit. And Lord, I pray right now. As I begin to declare, I want you to shout a loud Amen. Miracles are already happening. In the name of Jesus, blind eyes, be open now. Blind eyes, every eye condition, be healed now. Be healed now. Every kind of deafness, complete or partial deafness, be healed now. Be healed now. God is touching people. Peptic ulcer. Be healed now. Be healed now. Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. You will feel like fire burning on your chest right now. That's ulcer being healed. God is healing ulcer. Ulcer. You will feel fire burning on your chest. Ulcer is being healed right now. I give you the praise. I give you the praise. I give you the praise. Lump in the breast. Lump in the breast. The right breast. Lump in the right breast. Is being healed now. Lump is being healed now. I cost that spirit. I cost that spirit. 
by the prophetic word. This lady is going to start coughing things out. She's going to start coughing things out right now. She will start coughing things out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Migraine headache. Every kind of migraine. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Every respiratory condition. Someone is going to feel something jump out of your chest now. Every respiratory condition. Heart condition. Breathing problem. I command the spirit. Leave now. Leave now. Those outside, make sure you are connected. Leave now. In the name of Jesus. There are so many ladies with so much pain. Even if you are not on your period, your stomach. I cause that pain together with all kinds of menstrual pain. Menstrual pain of all sorts. Go now. Go now. Go now. Menstrual pain is of the devil. I don't care what medicine says. Go now. 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 Irregular period. The Lord is healing that now. Right now. There's a lady you've been on your period for two months non-stop. It dries up now. Now. And there's a lady from November last year. You don't need to come out. From November last year. You've only seen your period twice. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I restore order to your body. Now. I restore order. The power of God is moving to this effect. I restore order now. Now. Hallelujah. Please begin to check yourself. Begin to check yourself. A tooth problem has been healed. I give you the praise, Lord. A toothache, tooth problem, serious tooth problem. The Lord is healing it right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Lord, let every healing, every healing. Hallelujah. Now, I really want to conserve time. I'm just thinking since Pastor Jax is here, we can lay hands faster on the sick. Do I need to call the sick to come out? Is that a good idea? Answer now, let's work together. Because I know there are people you are still not satisfied. Okay, please and please, if you've been healed, just stay back. Especially for our guests who are coming here for the first time and then a few others. If you check your body and you see that you are still sick and you need the touch of God, please come out and line up. Thank you, Jesus. Worship rain is falling down. Healing rain is falling down. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Brought, who brought our daddy? He came on his own. He came on his own. What's wrong, sir? Difficult in walking. Difficult in walking. Your leg? What happened, sir? I just feel, one day I just feel like you're past me. I can't weak. Your leg is weak. I'm going to pray for you, daddy. And Jesus will heal you right now. 
Hold my hand, sir. Don't worry, just sit down. Thank you, Jesus. The power of God will start moving your leg. Lord, thank you for healing. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I curse that spirit. You see something happening to your leg? You're feeling something happening to your leg, right? Yes. The power of God is moving. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of the Christ of God. Daddy, look at me. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, stand up. Come, come, come. Help him, help him. This is stroke. This is stroke. In the name of Jesus, I curse it. I curse it. I curse it. Sir, at the count of three, lift up both of your hands. One, two, three. Just lift your hands. Lift your hands. That stroke hand, I curse it in the name of Jesus. Daddy, try walking. Come, hold my hands. Follow me. Come, come. Look at me. Look at me. Come, come. come. Just turn. Turn by yourself. Just do what I'm doing. Do what I'm doing. Come on now. Look at God giving a miracle. In the name of Jesus, are you seeing the power of God now? Go ahead, Daddy. The devil is a liar. Say. Not only has God healed you, Daddy, God is going to restore to you every worm has eaten, everything the palmer worm has eaten. Because the Lord is showing me that the enemy would have taken your life first week of October. They would have buried you first week of October. This is what the Lord is showing me. But in the name that is above all names, four years, four years now, for four years, this has been. The devil had wanted to destroy you. I'm saying first week of October, they would have buried you. But in the name that is above all names, the Bible says the heaven of the heavens belong to the Lord. But the earth has he given. So, all oh earth, I forbid you from taking this man's body. In the name of Jesus, he will live long, he will live strong. And for every one of you praying for him, may your family members live long. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Daddy, we are going to walk one more time. Look at, look at, he's so excited. To the shame of the devil. To the shame of the devil. To the shame of the devil. Come on, walk again, Daddy. Walk. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please take him to his seat. The Lord perfects him in the name of Jesus. Worship him. Help us. Let's save him.
I cause death. Mama, you will live and not die. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, hold on. Who brought this girl? You came on your own with your mom. Mommy, where are you? Where's the mommy? Faith's mother. Where's Mama Faith? need to destroy death from your family there is a serious yoke of death bring your sister you are not the only one all the people in your family that came come and stand here this is witchcraft come and stand here this is not sickness what a mighty god we serve please hurry up just save our time please the creator of heaven and earth will set the whole family free. Kai, this is witchcraft. Acute witchcraft. You know you need a miracle, right? Huh? You came here trusting God. Huh? What did the doctors tell you? Wait now. I need to pray for you. Huh? The leg issue is a simple issue. If I don't pray for you, they are going to diagnose you with cancer. Huh? Cancer of the breast. Cancer of the breast now. It's cancer. This is what I'm telling you. If we don't destroy it now, this is cancer of the breast. It's witchcraft. Huh? It's okay. Don't cry. Please. Please. We don't have handkerchief here. Handkerchief. Oh, please. Madam, listen. I told you he's dead. Where is, where is your husband? husband is dead. husband is dead. Where is your mother? My mother is dead. They've, uh, wait, I'm showing you that this is witchcraft. They want to kill everybody in your family. Huh? They want your son. Where is your son? My senior brother. Wait, who? He's paralyzed completely. If there is a God in heaven, hear me. If there is God in this place tonight, your deliverance comes. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Hold my hands. Jesus, change their story. Let the speaking blood speak right now. In the name of Jesus, I break the chains of witchcraft. Please help this woman with a handkerchief. Anybody, anybody, please. Free! Now! Madam, if there is a God, you will return back to this place to testify. I cause cancer now, 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 out of her body by the power of the Holy Ghost. Cancer dies now. Together with the leg issue, your leg will start moving now, supernaturally by itself. Your leg will start moving under the influence of the Spirit and that evil thing upon your leg leaves you forever baby hold my hands Hallelujah. look at this innocent girl look at this girl where's the camera when you look at this girl you see a walking corpse do you understand i'm seeing a coffin in the spirit 
They have finished this girl since last year. This girl you are seeing. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Jesus said it. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am dead. Father, change this girl's story. I bring you out of the valley of the shadow of death in the name of Jesus Christ. Out! Now! Out! Now! Out! Now! In the name of Jesus. I change the story of this family now whatever legal access the devil has over your family we lift up the blood as the price for your ransom therefore we command your exodus now the same thing is happening to someone here exodus now everyone marked for death I command your exodus now everyone marked for death everyone marked for death I command your exodus now in the name of Jesus. Let's save time. Thank you, Jesus. Free. She's in the hospital. Set her free. In the name of Jesus.
out. You do wonders in night. Yes, you do wonders in night. Cause you're a faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For you and your loved ones be healed. You do wonders. You do wonders in me. His of wonders. Heal. You do wonders in me. You do wonders, oh. You do wonders in me. Your season has come. Your season of smiling has come. Yes, Mama. Uh, where are they born? Because you can't enter. They said they don't do no place on earth. I hear people say, "My father, you must die." You are saying, "Mary, we pray and go here." You are pregnant. No. Where are they born? Because you can't. They disturb me. They said they don't do no place on earth. They say I must die. I can't hear voice in the night. Say, "My father, you must die." Hey, oh. I don't. I don't get the whole details. Oh, a voice is saying she must die. Who shall declare a thing and it shall come to pass when the Lord has not commanded it? He said, no witchcraft, no enchantment against Jacob shall stand. See, don't let all this nonsense voice. It's when you don't know who you are. I think we are going to sing that song. Chosen generation. We need to shout it to the devil that we are not confused. Watch it. Too. Are you ready now? Give us that song. Sing anything, even if you don't know the fashion. Just sing the one you know. Are you ready now? I 
Hallelujah. 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 Don't tempt me in the name of Jesus. Don't tempt me. Oh, to a catching again. Not my fault. Sam is not around. Yeah. She hope I will give you all the Worship team, drama, be careful in Jesus' name. Hey, if we don't finish here on time, you will sleep here. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, you are the king. <laughs> Mommy, be healed. Every planting that is not of God, we uproot it now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, be free. Every growth in your body dissolves and passes out of this body. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Do you have your prayer request? Please start submitting it. Usher, shall start getting a prayer request. Prayer requests are very important. They are not a formality. If you've not written it, now is the time. Send a text to your loved one. And say, send it fast. There is a God that answers prayers. Thank you, Jesus. Be healed now. Savior, he can move a mountain. My God is mighty to say, yes, he is mighty to say, be healed now, forever, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Jesus is great in this place. Please write out your prayer requests. Don't spare anything. Hallelujah. Please, I want to pray. I want to lay hands on all the children. All the little children from age 1 to 10. Just 1 to 10. If you are more than 10, keep them. 1 to 10. Please bring them out. 1 to 10. Mothers, if you are tired, give somebody to hold the child and come with it. Please, just hurry up. Let's save time while we collect it. Please. If you are not interested, you can sit back, please. Bring all the children. We must lay hands. Ah, that's a baby.
teach me how to hold you before I strangle the neck of this baby. <laughs> Come and hold the mic for me. Let me do serious business here. The baby has small nose like you. Hold on. Baby, we prayed for your arrival. Oh. Every barren woman in this place, stand up. Everybody stand up. Ah! I use Wumi as a point of contact. I'm very serious now. Every family here trusting God for the fruit of the womb. God is breaking barrenness. The same God that brought this baby. The Bible says, Children, I heritage from the Lord. My God, I pray. I cause barrenness to its root now. In the name of Jesus. Baby, may you be strong. May you grow to be a beautiful and a godly girl. We separate you in advance from destiny killers. Wolves in sheep's clothing. May they never find you in the name of Jesus. All those who are determined to destroy the life of visionary people, they will never find this baby in the name of Jesus. I'm going to lay hands on every one of this child. I want you to help me. If you know that you are a mother or a father, or you plan to be a mother or a father, even if you don't plan, just join us. Hallelujah. Many of you are, especially those of you who are trusting God for marriage this year. I hope you know the year is still young. Is this all the faith you brought for this meeting? Now is the time to believe God and stretch your hands and say, Lord, as you did it to them. I didn't say, come out, oh. Don't worry, immediately I finish. All those who are trusting God for marriage this year, if you think you are bold enough and you are not ashamed, immediately after this, march out and stand. Don't be ashamed of anybody. Don't let anybody look. I'm serious. Hold on. If you know you have a lot to do in your destiny, you are a hundred level and you just come and march out here. Please, we, we are not playing jamboree here. I know there are men of God that do, we are acting based on instruction. Make sure your father and your mother will smile when you tell them you are ready to get married. Don't cause anything that will come and disgrace the name of the Lord. Praise God. All of you stretch your hands. It's amazing. Let me challenge men. I don't see any father standing here. And I, if I remember very well, I know that Mary was the only woman who just gave birth like that without a man. Fathers, men, every gentleman say, say myself behave. Say it myself behave. When it comes to responsibility, many men leave the women. But if the baby takes first, you are the one who wants to go to the school. Lady, say I refuse. Stretch your hands. Let's pray for them. Every blessing you know you would give your child, release it to them. Pastor Jakes, please, let's lay hands on them. Father, we lay hands on these children. Every spell, name of the Lord Jesus everything that makes your brain dull we command that you are not dull in the name of jesus christ bring her please in the name of jesus christ baby grow in the fear of the lord in the name of jesus christ hallelujah 
now if you know honestly please don't play games with god here you know that you are trusting god to settle down maritally in this 2014 come out and stand here please we are not playing games i am very very serious about it god is a miracle walker god is a glorious god he is a glorious god i know you are a miracle ready to marry this year are you joking eh? you are standing in for somebody okay. hallelujah listen listen we are young people but it doesn't mean we are indisciplined are you getting my point now now look up i want to say something very important some of you standing here are the enemies of your own marriages hallelujah Gideon said, why have we not seen these manifestations? He said, destroy the altars. Any ungodly relationship that you are in, that is stopping your life partner from coming, we break it from the realm of the spirit now. May that married man never call you again. I know you have been getting money from him, but the relationship is hereby declared non and void you must choose to walk in holiness and integrity hallelujah there are people standing here that there are powers and thrones please lift your hands and horns that attempt to lift themselves against your marriage you are a very pretty lady but nobody can look at you the moment a guy looks at you and is trying to talk to you, something just happens and scatters it. There are some of us, you are guys. You are, you are a hardworking and disciplined person. But the moment any lady comes to you, today she says she's, she's serious. After one week, there are some of you people come and they die. Some of you have even had introduction and the guy ran away. But in the name that is above all names listen this is an apostolic ministry we are not ashamed the bible says i am not ashamed of the gospel every aspect of the gospel that brings freedom we will preach it and we will set people free lift your hands you will be very surprised i said it at the beginning of the year that god told me there will be surprise marriages even people who did not believe and expect listen let me give you a revelation my bible says male and female he created them what and what did he say female and female did he say male and male that means ladies there is a male counterpart for you you believe that i'm going to pray for the man not a man are you getting me not one man meandering around and you say let me manage time is going no you can read a course you don't like and manage for five years and leave you cannot manage marriage lift your hands let's first destroy these altars of Baal. see that ababa get ready because the power of god is about to shatter spells into pieces father everyone here under the influence of any spirit husband or spirit wife or any enchantment in the name of the Lord Jesus at the count of three may deliverance come to you one two three
decree right now right now right now i cause it i cause it let them go let them go now i release you now i release you now 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 every spirit sitting on your marital destiny i set it on fire now hallelujah now i prophesy to you in the name of the lord jesus father your people have come out because they are ready to settle down in the name of jesus whatever attribute they need to have to become award-winning wives and husbands may it come upon them now in the name of jesus wherever your husband is if he is walking in this earth right now just like boas located root i call forth your life partner now by prophecy now goodness the power of god is creating a connection right now right now in the realm of the spirit right now in the name of jesus i connect you in the realm of the spirit i break every soul tie i break every soul tie i break every covenant stopping you from marriage right here we are going to hold your wedding card and announce it to the shame of the devil in the name of jesus some of you are ready to marry there's no money god punish the devil in the name of the lord jesus we call for supply the beds that brought food for elijah in the name that is above all names receive divine supply now go and return with your testimony please rise up everybody pastor jakes please come pastor jakes is going to lead us to pray and prophesy on this request listen friends we have a god that answers prayers there are just few minutes and we'll be out of here hallelujah hallelujah please just stretch forth your hands towards this place and communicate with god get go ahead and pray Father, we pray. Rabala baka shi para gale bondo si para bale brega le 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 boko sa. Rakata na na raba si te bale bondo braga la la varia na raba kasanda raba liga de. Riha ta sa para bago dia de bale brega de 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 boko sa ni raba da. In the rakata da ba to para kata bale brega la la varia raba do varia. Rako to pa ya rakata ya raba raba raba. Ende brega le le bondo braga do bale brega la la varia kada. Rakata ya raba la la varia ba de ba de. Rakata ba de varia raba raba da. Enda rakata la ba raba da la ba raba da. Rakata ba ha sha para ba da. Rakata li ba raba ba 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 ba. Enda reke le 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 ba kosi ba la ba da. Raba to sali tando ho. Imanda katoja ila barus ali tando. Iga boja ila raunda as ila palendo. Resula Italia rusa indo ko. Iamba uada wabula ada yondelu. Riamula a uacha kayuna ma uatu ya 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 miela runa uba ura kana Rusia da ma kondo robo kosi kama. Father Lord, even as we lift up these prayers before you, we ask that the fire of God come. Let the fire come from your presence. Let it come upon these prayers, Lord. Let it rise like incense to you. We release angels of God, angels of God to visit homes, angels of God to visit people in hospitals, angels of finances be released, angels of breakthrough, angels of marriages, angels responsible for salvation, healings for loved ones. In the name of Jesus, we release contracts. We release contracts. We release contracts in the name of Jesus. We speak for the to building projects. Let it arise in the name of Jesus. We speak into dead academics. Let it rise. 
dead spiritual lives let it rise the grace of God comes upon families in the blessed name of Jesus we speak to barren cases family challenges in the name of Jesus it ends we speak to divorce cases aha Lord for those trusting you for you to bring back their loved ones fathers in the name of Jesus we ask that fathers come back home in the name of Jesus we call for missing people we ask that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth the angels of God bring them back in the blessed name of Jesus and Lord we speak right now into the highway aha Lord for our loved ones traveling right now Lord in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that the hand of God will be upon them the Lord will shield them in the blessed name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth father we give you praise we give you glory for every prayer point here Lord he receives answers in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we pray and the church of God says hallelujah God's servant has prayed we convert this prayer request to testimonies in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ please everybody stand inside and outside please rise something must change in your life right now And Balak told Balaam, he said, go and curse the nation of Israel. And Balaam told him, he said, I have been commanded to bless. And this I have done. He said, I cannot reverse it. Hallelujah. Scripture said, destroy it not, for there is a blessing in it. Destroy it not, for there is a blessing. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. He said, Believe in his prophets, and you shall prosper. I want you to believe that the word that is about to come forth right now can do something remarkable in your life. We've had testimonies indescribable. This is the moment where breakthrough comes. This is the moment where lots of miracles begin to happen. Please lift your head. Hallelujah. He said, weep not. Thou that didst not bear, break forth into singing. Thou that did not have a child. He said, for many are the children of the desolate. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I come under the apostolic unction. And I command, receive breakthrough now. Breakthrough now. Breakthrough now. I command breakthrough now in every area of your life breakthrough now receive breakthrough now shake it every limit every limit i smash it in the name of jesus whatever has not been working in your life right now in the name that is above all names I command it to start working now. Start working now. Every voice speaking against anyone here that every time you want to move forward, there is a voice. Listen, the Bible says, in six things shall he deliver you, Job 5. He said, yes, seven things. He said in the time of famine you will laugh and you will shall be delivered from the scorching tongues of men in the name that is above all names i command 
every scourging tongue against your destiny be silenced now 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 To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called the oaks of righteousness the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified whatever has stopped your growth whether spiritually or academically the Bible says they that dwell in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God like the cedars of Lebanon will they be fat and flourishing I command barrenness to be over now I cause barrenness now I cause barrenness record to secretary reports complete to survive And Jesus said every tree that has not been planted by my father hallelujah I shared with you last week on the mysteries of the kingdom that there is the mystery of sleep something happens in the earth when men sleep the Bible says while men slept it's not backsliding while they slept an alien came and planted something and went away and people woke up with diseases they did not sleep with in the name of Jesus every foreigner in your body and your life that my father has not planted come out of their bodies now come out of their bodies now by the fire of the Holy Ghost come out of their bodies now hallelujah and the Lord told Moses he says see I have made you a God unto Pharaoh see I have made you a God unto Pharaoh everything that has oppressed your life and has put you under bondage tonight you rise up above and beyond that challenge now In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And the sons of the prophet told Elisha, he said, where we meet with you is too small. Come, let us go beyond the Jordan. And the Bible says, while they were felling the tree at Jordan, the axe head fell. And they said, alas, master, for it was borrowed. And the prophet said, where did it fall? And he threw a stick and the earth head began to float i reverse tonight in the name that is above all names every situation over your life that you know only god can change it may that god change it now every situation in your life that only god can change may that god change now change it now change it now said when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion we were like them that dream and so said among the hidden the Lord has done great things for them he said the Lord has done great things for us whereof we are glad turn again our captivity oh God as the rivers in the Negev I pray let it turn around blessing hit somebody right now let it turn around blessing hit somebody right now hallelujah because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God even thy God has anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows 
and the bible says esther went in and when the king saw her he said esther what would you have me do even up to half of my kingdom everywhere you need to enter for the next level of your life reporto soto we break protocols tonight and we command that god will take you there may my god take you there may my god take you there hallelujah and the man who was crippled from birth he needed a miracle but there was no man to help him and the bible says some people lifted him and tore the zinc and put him it's one thing for men to want to help you but it's another thing for them to vow to help you all the way i prophesy every destiny helper that is responsible for the next level of your life career wise marriage wise academic wise i call them into your life now 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 hallelujah the bible says thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me round about genesis 24 verse 1 and abraham was old and well stricken in age and the lord had blessed him in all things how many things how many things every part of your life that is remaining to align with the all things anointing the bible says naaman second kings 5 was the captain of the syrian army he was a mighty man the bible says but he was crippled i pray every other area of your life that needs the touch of god let that area of your life receive that divine touch now receive it now receive it now hallelujah the bible says is there hope for a tree although it be cut down he said at the scent of water at the scent of water everything in your life that has gone down that you're asking can god take me back to this level again some of you are asking can i go back to the level of anointing i used to function in again can god take me to that level of grace again my god and your god restores all things for you now the lord most high restores all things now may the peace of god that surpasses all understanding rest and abide with you in the name of the lord jesus christ and now i pray for you may the lord bless you may the lord keep you may the lord lift up his face before you may he lift up his countenance upon you and may he give you peace in the name of the lord jesus christ give god praise in the name of jesus dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message i want you to keep doing something for this man of god our man of god apostle joshua salmon and that is i want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of jesus christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of christianity and then don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye